10 unique things that prove Asia is a whole new world. Hey folks, how many of you have the opportunity of living in the world's largest continent? More than 4.4 billion of you. OMG, that's a big enough target audience for our revenue. Ahem. <clears throat> Jokes apart, Asia is a different world in itself. So many languages, cultures, and cuisines that you need a whole life to experience them all. Diversity is the biggest attraction of Asia. Is that what you believe? You'd be wrong. There are crazy bits in every country on the face of this earth, but Asia houses some of the craziest ones, and we have proof. But first, you may want to take a deep breath and glue your eyes to the screen. Number 1. QR Code Garden Tourism is great for a country's economy, and China seems to know this well. Zilin Shui Village in the northern Hebei province has painstakingly planted hundreds of trees in order to create a pattern. And no, this isn't some elaborate maze. It is something far more impressive. A QR Code! Already an amazing feat if you ask us, but wait for this. The QR code is actually confirmed as working. Of course, you have to be several hundred feet above the village itself to successfully get it to work, so not practical, but hello, it works, and that's a big deal. And this QR code leads to the tourism page of the village. How cool is that? Number 2. Artistic Manhole Covers What would be your reaction if we told you that Japan has some sort of obsession with manhole covers? just about anywhere in the country, you can find stylized manhole covers, each more beautiful and intricate than the next. Any idea where this phenomenon emerged from? It is said that in 1985, a high-ranking bureaucrat in the construction ministry came up with the idea of allowing municipalities to design their own manhole covers to raise awareness for costly sewage projects. Now that's definitely a cool idea, and a pretty one too. Number 3. Overcrowded Trains Have you ever traveled in an overcrowded train in your life? We aren't talking about being squished between passengers on the tube. That's a cakewalk. This is about the thousands of commuters who try to find a spot on trains in Bangladesh and end up standing on the roof. What? That is plain crazy! But with not many seats and not many trains, passengers are forced to risk their life in order to get home. The next time you crib about not getting a seat on the tube, think of the people who just about cling to the front of a train to reach home. Number 4. Market on the Railway Thailand is a tourist destination, and apart from the temples and red light areas, the markets are what you must visit. While most of the markets in this country may look the same, there is one that takes a bit of guts to visit. Confused? The Meklong Railway Market has a train running through the middle of it several times a day. Right down the middle and close enough to touch. You might want to check your life insurance before setting a foot on this crazy market and get some shopping done before a train comes charging at you. Number 5. A Fine City What comes to your mind when you think of Singapore? Expenses! Of course the cost of living is high in this island city-state, but what else can you think? Bingo! Singapore is among the cleanest and organized cities in the world, but the price they have to pay to keep it clean is something the Americans can't wrap their heads around. You can get fined for doing the simplest of acts, like chewing gum. Yes, you heard that right. You might be slapped with a huge fine of $500 or even $1,000 if you're caught gum-mouthed. Number 6. Anytime is nap time. If you're visiting Japan for the first time, you're in for some shock. Anywhere you go, on the streets, in an office, or Tokyo Metro, there is a good chance that you'll see people sleeping anywhere they please. And yes, we did include offices in here. What do you get for sleeping on the job? A termination letter? In Japan, sleeping at work is a sign of dedication because workaholic is not an adjective some people use to describe themselves. That's the way of life in Japan. Number 7. Healthy Black Teeth How many times has your mom reminded you to brush your teeth every day? We've all associated brushing with healthier teeth, and it is true also. 
If you're anything like us, then chances are that your parents scared you with a picture of someone's decaying black teeth to establish the importance of brushing teeth. But were you ever told that black teeth can be healthier too? In some parts of Asia, there is a custom of dyeing one's teeth black to preserve them into old age. It prevents tooth decay similar to the mechanism of modern dental sealants. Time to say goodbye to the dentist. Number 8. A Toilet Museum If you take a helicopter ride over Suwon City in South Korea, you might stumble upon gold, or rather, gold poop. Mr. Toilet is a cute but small museum in the shape of a toilet bowl that you may notice only through an aerial view. Who could have thought of creating an entire museum to the toilet? There is a story that the former mayor of Suwon had a goal to clean and beautify all the toilets in the city because, um, he was born on a toilet stall. After he died, his house was donated to the municipality and turned into a museum. Fancy seeing the history of Korean toilets? You know where to go. Number 9. Winning Land Back in school, we would chime to winning when we coordinated outfits with our bestie. It was fun. But a town in India has taken the trend of twinning to another level altogether. It is called the Twin Town because, well, in a population of 2,000, Kadini has 350 pairs of identical twins. That is about 42 twins per 1,000 births, a very high ratio. Then there is Mohammedpur Umri village near Allahabad, which goes a step ahead with over 60 pairs of identical twins in a total population of 900. Man, that's 300 times the national average and perhaps the highest in the world. Number 10. Time Zones Exceptions There is no denying the fact that China is a huge country, and this hugeness demands at least four to five time zones. But nope, China has only one time zone, Beijing Standard Time. You probably think that this is a good time because there'll be less confusion, right? Wrong! Think of it like this. When it's 6 o'clock in the nation's capital, it's 6 o'clock almost 3,000 miles further west in Kashgar. It may sound harmless at first, but it surely leads to weird sightings. Like in summer, it isn't uncommon in Urumqi, Xinjiang's capital, to see people enjoying a beautiful sunset at midnight or a sunrise at 10 a.m. on a cold winter morning. Talk of confusion now! Do you think Asia is a whole different world? Tell us in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel if you like this video. And while you're here, check out our other videos and tell us what you think of them. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks for watching!